Looks like we got our first look at some Spyro achievements. Let's take a peek at them. What's up guys, Canadian Guy A here, and a few nights ago, around 10.30 my time, we had the entire trophy and achievement list release for the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Now, there are a grand total of 108 trophies to collect spanned across all three games. With every single trophy, there are small snippets of concept art that we have never seen before. Now, does this mean I'm going to go through every achievement? Well, no. I'm not going to stretch this video out. The links for the full trophy list is in the description below. However, I will be choosing some that either have awesome photos or interesting achievements. The first image I want to show off is Sleepy Hall- wait, no. Dark Hollow. Now, from what we have seen before in terms of concept art, it would seem that we are continuing the dark, spooky librarian theme across the level, and I am so excited to see this in its full glory. Next up, we got an achievement called Leaf on the Wind. Simply glide to the secret egg thief area in Town Square. Now, the reason why I picked this is because it's a reference to one of my favorite movies of all time, Serenity. I'm a leaf on the wind. Watch how I soar. Which is kind of interesting because the following line is, of course, Watch how I soar, which is kind of how Spyro gets to the thief. So it's just a really nice touch. Next up, we got the Robo Sharks from Aquaria Towers. Now, as a kid, they terrified me, but as I grew up, I slowly stopped being scared of them. And then Toys for Bob makes them scary again. Thanks a lot, Toys for Bob. Next up, we got a concept of Crush. Now, he does look awesome, however, he may look different as the concept art difference between Gulp's concept and the actual in-game model was also different, but it's a nice to see the direction that they are going with. Up next is the achievement, Bird is the Word. Flame the pigeons first in Metro Speedway. Need I explain why this is funny? To help with your sleeping habits, I thought I would show you the concept of Buzz. You're welcome for not sleeping tonight. Look at this nightmare fuel. Buzz looks terrifying and I love it. I cannot wait though to see his full reveal. Now, what's a Spyro video without a little bit of controversy? The redesign for Bamo has come out. Yeah, that's right. Bamo still has his original name. The achievement for him is called Duck and Cover and it's simply don't get hit by Bamo. Now, in the original, he threw magic orbs and not really, well, bombs, like his name would suggest. Maybe they are magic bombs? Who knows? But it is interesting to see that he didn't get censored in some way, shape, or form that we have seen so far. The next achievement is actually a Doctor Who reference called Exterminate. Exterminate! Exterminate! Simply deferred every Dalek, I mean robot, in Huracos. Fairly straightforward. Next up is the doctor himself, Dr. Shemp. We have seen small snippets of his art before, but now we can see, well, a lot more of it and a lot clearer. He looks completely nuts, and I absolutely love it. The next achievement is that one that I thought was a little different. It's called Dragon On and On. It reads to get Nasty Nort to complete five laps. Normally, it would be the other way around, where it would be to get Nasty to run as little laps as possible. But this achievement seems to encourage that you need to get Nasty on the Weight Watchers program, which I found interesting. Up next, we got two achievements that go together that I thought were really cool. So when Spyro gets in the Whirly Gig, we get the achievement One Step for a Dragon, but later on when we get to the Rocket, the achievement says One Giant Leap for Dragon Kind. Which, of course, is a reference to Neil Armstrong when he landed on the moon. Next up, we got Nasty's Horde achievement, called I'm in the Money. Now, in this image, we see a few references, one of them being a Skylanders Trap Team poster. Then, we also see the original Spyro the Dragon poster, with red marker scribbled over top of Spyro's name and face. Also, you can see through the broken wood the crystallized dragon. Overall, just a neat little image. And last, but certainly not least, 
it would not be a Spyro Canadian Guy A video without the mention of the trolley mission. Trouble with the trolley, eh? And in the achievement section, we got Trouble No More. The text goes on to say, clear run in the trolley. Now, does this mean we have to beat the trolley with no mistakes or just simply beat it? I'm honestly unsure, the text is a little vague. But there you have it, folks. Some of the achievements that I thought were interesting and, well, kind of funny. You can see the full list in the description below for yourself. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Cue the extra.